Good morning, children. Welcome back to your environmental studies class. Our topic, matter, solids, liquids, and gases. So as we have come to the end of the chapter, I hope you all understand what is matter, what is solid, what is liquid, and what is gas. So in today's class, we will be discussing the exercises from your textbook and your workbook. So I want you to watch the videos carefully to give correct answers for your assignments. Turn to page 25 of your textbook. Let's exercise. We will be doing exercise 1, 2, 3 and 4. Alright. So let's begin with exercise 1. Fill in the blanks with the correct option. There are options given and we are going to choose the correct one a matter can exist in dash states how many states does matter exist do you still remember two or three yes three is the correct answer can you name them it is liquid solid and gas right now b Dash is a liquid and it can flow, shampoo or soap. Do you really nia aluang tebo ka tutu shampoo nia soap sabun nia shampoo kan? Yes, the correct answer is shampoo. C. Everything around us is made up of dash. Kan sever til ing kim ka ing ing na asiam nia ka matter o water. Yes, everything around us is made up of matter. D. Dash is an example of a gas. Gas example ka? Smoke nge sand, wood nge meku. Yes, the answer is smoke. Smoke is an example of a gas. Now, let's move on to the next exercise. Now, name the following. A. The process of conversion of a liquid into a solid. Liquid ka solid ta kanti chang don khan inge kan mamo ka. Yes, the answer is freezing. F R E E Z I N G freezing. B. The process of conversion of a solid into a liquid. Solid ka liquid tu rila kan chantir don khan inge kan mamo kha inge kha 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 solid ka liquid kan chantir khan inge kan ti kha melting the answer is melting m e l t i n g melting now let's move on to the next exercise now exercise 3 match the followings column a and column b are there we have to match the columns in column A with column B. A, it has definite shape. Pian mang ne ka. Inge ka. Yes, the answer is solid. Now B, it does not have a definite shape. It takes the shape of the container. Bom tsunga kan da lu ang ang shape ne tu. Definite shape po ne lem lo. Shape mu mal ne lo ka. Inge ka. It is liquid. Now see, it does not have definite shape. Shape, shanpa ing ma anilao. It is gas. Alright. Now th those exercise, exercise one, two, and three ka textbooka in lautiyang. Alright. Now let's move on to the last exercise. Exercise four. Answer the following questions in three to five sentences. A. Give two examples of solids. Hemihitsu nang mani nin lautiyang. Alright, solids to in siya atro. It has definite shape. It does not flow. There can be a lot of examples for solids, right? So, kang tam tak zing akan, you are going to write two examples of solids. You will answer this by yourself. Alright. Now, B. What happens to water when it is cooled? Tui ka kan lo da vokan, ingtin nge lo om ka. 
All right, let's answer. If water is cooled, it changes to ice. Now, the next question. What is air? Let's answer. Air is a mixture of gases. It is made of gases like oxygen, comma, carbon dioxide, comma, nitrogen, and water vapor. Full stop. Now, the last question. Define the term matter. Do you still remember? Yes. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Full stop. You will do exercise 4 in your notebook. Now, let's move on to workbook. Now, turn to page 8 from your workbook environmental workbook turn to page 8 chapter 3 matter solids liquids and gases now name the following question number one a the state of matter to which paper belongs le kha kha in state of matter ange om kha we have three states of matter in which state of matter this paper belongs to Yes, the answer is solid. B. A substance that may occur in all the three states of matter. Kang three states of matter solid, liquid, le gas a kan ing til nge til ve thevek om pakat ka inge ka. Yes, the answer is water. Now let's move on to the next question. Now, question number two. State whether the following statements are true or false. A. Gases are all around us. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. B. A chair is an example of gas. Chair ka gas example ani theyang em chukleyang ka. No. So, it is false. C. Air occupies Space. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. It is a clear gas in which living things live and breathe, right? So, the answer is true. Question number three. Fill in the blanks. A. Dash in is an example of a gas. Air or milk. Yes. Air is an example of gas. B. Water covers dash of the earth's surface. 90% or 70%? Yes, the answer is 70%. Water covers 70% of the earth's surface. Now let's move on to the next question. This will be the last question for today's assignment. Define the following terms. A. Freezing. We are going to define what is freezing. Now let's write the answer. The process of conversion. C-O-N-V-E-R-S-I-O-N. -E -S conversion of a liquid into a solid is known as freezing. Full stop. Let me repeat once more. The process of conversion of a liquid into a solid is known as freezing full stop b mass now let's answer mass is the amount of matter that makes up an object full stop let me repeat once more mass is the amount of matter that makes up an object full stop all right you will complete this in your workbook. Alright. Tuna kan soy workbook hau ka. Workbook a kan in lao cha ngang. Notebook a ziat hak a ngay lava. Textbook po ka. Exercise 1, 2, 3 ka. Textbook a in lao cha ngang a. The only thing you have to do in your notebook is exercise 4. Answer the following questions in 3 to 5 sentences. That is from your textbook, page number 25. Alright. And you will submit your assignment this evening before 10 p.m. Thank you, children.